Thank you for teaching Chip Flynn. How may I serve you? Hi, um, can I get the uh, kids meal? Hey everyone, um, today I'm at the uh, Chick-fil-A, um, I think this one was by request, I think someone requested Chick-fil-A, but anyway, I'm going to uh, check out their kids meal now. Chick-fil-A is supposed to be one of the healthier options for children these days, um, so uh, I just wanted to check that out and see what kind of kids meal they have. Now I got the what my daughter Addie always normally gets, which is the grilled nuggets. I'm more of a fried nuggets guy, but she always gets the grilled, so that's how I'm going to review today. Um, you got four of these. Um, you got a uh, waffle fries by default. That's what they automatically give you if you don't ask for anything special. Um, now I did, though... Just for the purposes of the review, I bought this as an extra. They do offer a fruit cup. Um, they didn't suggest it. I had to. I had to say, "Hey, can I have the fruit cup as well?" Um, and then there's dipping sauce for my nuggets. I got honey mustard. That's my favorite. And now Chick Fil A. What I like about them is they will give you either a book or something. They tend to be a little more educational, but it still tends to be fun. Sometimes they're games involving cards and things like that. This one they said was a book, but it says Lunchbox Notes. So we'll, we'll check that out um, after we check out the meal. So let me just... Oh, and I forget if I said I got a juice box. I got the Honest Kids juice box instead of getting a... Um, instead of getting a soda or a pop like I normally do. Some people call it soda, some people call it pop. Um, so anyway, let's start with the nuggets. So this is the grilled nuggets. They have... Ooh, this is not easy to open for a kid's meal. Okay. That can be a good thing when you're driving. Um, they have like some sear marks on there um, to show that they have been grilled. That's pretty cool. These are actually really hot. So that's a good thing. Let me just try one plain without the dip. Okay. All right. Um, that's actually pretty good. This is the grain of the chicken is it's just real chicken. This isn't chicken that has been um, compressed into nuggets or anything like this you can actually the, the meat still has its original grain so these are literally just chunks of chicken um, this is a little tad on the salty side for me and for I think for children <clears throat> you, you know um, I would prefer to see a little less salt um, kids tend to have a little more sensitive palate but it's it's really tasty delicious chicken even I don't actually even need to dip it into the mustard sauce um, but uh, I, I will whenever I finish this off. Now, I won't finish this all on camera because that would just be a boring video. So, um, anyway, I'm going to seal this up and eat the rest later. Now, let me check out these fries before they get cold. Okay, so full disclosure, I'm a big fan of Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Um, especially the ones that actually are waffled. I don't like when you get like one of those real fat ends sometimes with a lot of peel on it. I don't mind the peel. It's I hate when they get those really thick ends, but um, when they're like this, they're, they're great. So I'm going to try these out. Okay, that that was a good fry. That's a very good fry. Even plain without ketchup. Delicious. Um, nice crisp. Um, just the right amount of salt. These are really well done. Nicely done fries. So um, I will finish those off later as well. I don't waste any food on this show. Trust me. Um, and now I'll try, actually I'll try the fruit before I try the uh, fruit drink because those drinks tend to be so sugary that it'll probably spoil my taste buds for the fruit. Um, so this fruit actually looks good for a fruit cup. I mean, look at that. That's, that's not bad at all. It's nice and colorful. Um, a lot of times when you get these fruit cups, everything seems kind of, it's either canned fruit or it has that kind of like worn out look to it. Um, like it's been sitting around. This really actually looks good. I mean, look at those strawberries. They still have like a nice crisp edge to them. So let me try one of those. Okay, that that was a good strawberry. I mean, this is not going to be a hard sell to kids that, you know, that this fruit is anything less, you know, sweet than a dessert or something like that. Because this is really good. I'll, I'll try some of the other fruits in here. I'm going to have to get the uh, spoon or fork for that. Yeah, they do provide you with a fork, which is nice. And then this looks like a, uh, these probably are canned. These are, uh, what are those called? Um, they're not tangerines, but I, I forget. There's a name for them. I'm sure someone will let me know. Okay, that was good. Very good orange slice. And now I'm going to try the apple. Okay, no problem with the apple. Now, 
These blueberries are going to be the real test because blueberries are very hard to keep fresh for any length of time. Most of the time when you get blueberries from a secondary source other than your grocer, they're going to have kind of a beat up, pulpy look to them. But this, I mean, that really, it feels firm. That's not a bad looking blueberry. And all of them look like that. So I'm going to try this one out. Very good. This, this whole fruit cup, I would recommend... Um, even if you're not a big fan of fruit, I would recommend going for the fruit. It's healthier, and this is particularly good fruit. And, I mean, for you to have to prepare all this fruit yourself would be a pain. So it's nice to be able to go to Chick-fil-A, just drive through and get a fruit cup. Probably be a nice daily habit. I could get into Well, maybe not daily, but um, that could get expensive. Oh, and I still need to do this. And I will mention how much this costs, but I'm going to have to back out the cost of that fruit cup from the regular uh, kid's meal. Okay, I checked out the receipt. And for the kid's meal itself, um, with uh, that would be the nuggets, the fries, and the drink, four forty-five. So that's definitely on the higher end. Definitely it's the highest of any of the ones we've gone to so far. Now, this is chicken as opposed to hamburgers. So I don't know if there's a difference there. I actually thought chicken was supposed to be cheaper. Um, but this one's kind of uh, heartbreaking. The fruit cup, if you just get the fruit cup as an add-on, $2.49. Now that, so that fruit cup alone is higher than the cost of just getting the um, Wendy's kids meal. Although that was on sale when I went to that. So $2.49 is quite a bit. So, I mean, you can start to see why people struggle to come up with healthy options. I mean, if you have several kids and they all want a fruit cup, that, that can really add up there. So uh, $2.49 is a bit high. Now, I could have had the fruit cup instead of the fries. So I think that's the way to go. I don't believe there's an upcharge on the kids meal. I know there is an upcharge on the adult meal if you get it. So um, that probably is the way to go if you're going to do that and uh, have a healthy option. So let's see what the... the uh, now this is called Appley Ever After, so I'm assuming it's apple juice, or, uh, but they just say organic juice drink, so this is most likely not pure apple juice, it is probably infused with juice. Um, it's got 100% of your vitamin C, it just, oh it's from concentrate, so there you go, but anyway. Okay, I'm, I'm surprised this is fairly watered down tasting. Um, not super sweet either and i'm actually thinking that's probably a good thing as far as children and dental health are concerned it it, it doesn't seem to be particularly over sugared which is a good thing um and it's kind of refreshing too actually to not have like a syrupy uh kind of kids drink for once so this isn't bad and this is a uh, usd it's stamped uh, certified usda organic so um not bad at all so let me um Oh, the toy. You all want to see the toy. Let's see. Okay, so it's Tiny Prince Lunchbox Notes. And there is a coupon for $20 off your Tiny Prince order. So I guess this is a promotion as well. Um, and then they do offer an option for three ages 3 and under books as well, which is nice. Now it says Tiny Prince Notes, collect all five. And this has like a metallic... This is like a, um, basically a lunchbox, almost. It's got a little whale on it. Cute. Let's see. What are lunchbox notes? Still waiting to find out. Okay. These are new, these are note cards. They have a little band around them. And I don't know what you do with these. Let me see. Some out there's probably watching and saying, I know! If you do know before me, let me know in the comments. Okay. Oh, these are nice little notes that you can give to your friends. Um, kind of like thank you notes, but they're all kinds. This one says, I like hanging around with you, and there's a to and a from. Um, and then there's an encouraging note. It says, chase your dreams, to, from. So these are these are pretty cool. I mean, this is something different. A lot of these toys, kids will play with them for like five minutes while they're eating, and that's basically it. And then they either t take them home or they throw them out. And both, you know, and the ones that get taken home probably never get played with again. So this is actually something nice to give notes to people. I'm going to give these to people in my life. So whale always be friends. Some of them have uh, cheesy puns on them. So, but that's kind of cute. And they have you can keep them in your note tin and, and uh, presumably you can buy more of these notes uh, based on yeah they have a little 
something in here twenty dollars off your order although I can't imagine buying twenty dollars worth of notes but I'll, I'll have to look into that to see what what exactly you get um, but that's nice I mean you spread a little bit of positivity in the world and I'm, I think you know not too many toys do that they're they're nice for the kid who's playing with them right at the moment and then uh, you know that no one gets to share so that that's pretty cool so I'm gonna put this back so yeah I'm continuing to do these videos without Jillian and Addie on Wednesdays for the time being um if you don't like them that's fine you can skip them um, but we will get back to normal at some point but we're doing some traveling uh, the girls are still getting adjusted to their school schedule and of course we have the videos we do on um, Baby Teeth More on Fridays, this is Baby Teeth More, um, but on Fridays we do a fictional video, and then on on Sundays on Baby Teeth 4 we do like our big fictional video of the week. Um, we've been doing some Halloween stuff lately, and then on the Jillian and Addie channel you can check out our vlog type entries where it's, it's basically just like hanging out with Jillian and Addie. Um, a lot of times we've been going shopping lately to look at Halloween decorations. The seasonal stuff, we're going to try to do that because it's temporary and then once they're gone, they're gone. So we might as well take advantage of that. And people seem to like the, the uh, I know we like looking at the Halloween decorations. So um, the uh, other thing we've done, if you like amusement park rides, stuff like that, fairs, festivals, we've been doing a lot of that kind of thing, as well as some educational things like museums. So um, that would be the Jillian and Addy channels. So uh, check those out. Um, if you like this Chick-fil-A video, uh, let us know in the comments. I'd like to hear what's your favorite thing to get at Chick-fil-A. And if you have ideas for what to do in the future, what kind of kids' meals, um, that I should try out in the future also let me know in the comments so far I've done Burger King McDonald's Wendy's and Chick-fil-a so we're uh, I know there's still a lot of other places to try but uh, if, if you have a favorite kids meal one of those let me know so all right guys it's been a uh, great talking to you as always and um, I'll see you later bye bye with fries and then can I also get the fruit cup um, as an extra Absolutely. and, and um, and, oh, and does that come with a toy or a book? It'll come with, I believe it's a book. Okay, yep. That's Anything it. else for you guys? That's all. Okay, it's going to be 743, so far as for me to Thank you. My pleasure.